Wow. The Imp is yet another horror movie from 1981 that basically no one's ever heard of. I feel like I've been reviewing a lot of those kind of movies recently. I went on record saying that I think the year 1981 is possibly the best year in horror cinema, but that doesn't mean that every horror movie released that year was popular or even good. But just because it's obscure doesn't mean that it's bad. At least we'll get to find out together. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. The Imp is a Hong Kong horror film. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to Hong Kong cinema. In fact, I'm pretty much a novice when it comes to foreign films. But from what I've gathered, Hong Kong horror started in the 1930s. There were many hits scattered throughout the decades, but it wasn't until the early 80s when the horror film started to become extremely profitable. Most of the early profitable films of the decade were a mixture of horror, comedy, and action. The Imp really stood out during this time as it was a straight horror film. There was no playing around, it wasn't a comedy, it was serious in tone. Not many know of or remember this film, but for those who do, tend to remember it fondly. It has earned a 6.4 on IMDb, with only 220 people rating it. The user reviews tend to be mostly positive, with some praising this film. The Imp is a pretty typical ghost story told in a culturally unique way. Kyung and his wife are expecting a baby. They are a financially poor couple, and Kyung looks for work to help bring in a steady income for his growing family. The film opens on a job interview, and we find out that even though Kyung wants work, he may be very underqualified to do so. Don't worry, buddy. We've all been there. We get to see the hardship that the two must endure while Kyung looks for work. And from what I've gathered, the film does an admirable job depicting a low-income family during this time period in Hong Kong. And yes, the film is super slow. It really tries to set up the story and its characters. It does pick up, trust me. But is the payoff worth the slow burn? Stick around and find out. Kyung eventually gets a job as a night guard at a local commercial building. We meet a fairly likable cast of characters as Kyung's co-workers. The commercial building is a great location for a horror film. It's isolating and had some great atmosphere to it. While on the job, the elevator malfunctions and takes Kyung to the basement where he gets spooked out. The gang doesn't entirely believe him as there is no sign of foul play. Eventually, the guards start to die. The wife becomes creepier and paler. Green light and fog show up and some kind of shaman geomancer comes in to try to rid the building of the evil spirit. We find out that the malicious ghost is trying to be reincarnated through Kyung's unborn child. The film is slow, and some weird stuff does happen, but the ending is where the movie really shines. I won't give away too much, but it's dark, beautiful, gruesome, and this guy creeps me the heck out. The Imp has a lot of good things going for it. Acting is mostly great, setting and atmosphere are top notch, direction is mostly fine, cinematography is tight, music is a bit cliche but effective, and best of all, is the lighting. I love how this film is lit. The green representing an evil spirit isn't exactly new, but it's done very well. It has a bit of this industrial green going on that a lot of blockbusters from the late 90s and early 2000s had. For 1981, it's totally passable. The shadows look great, and everything is cast in darkness, with parts being lit look natural and great. There's almost a yin-yang symbolism going on with the lighting, which is funny because yin and yang play a huge role in the actual story. Speaking of that, there was a lot of cultural stuff that admittedly went right over my head. The belief in ghosts is a bit different than how the West views them, and how ghosts are handled does differ from culture to culture. The Geomancer was the biggest shock to me. I can't tell if it's actually campy or if I just don't understand the cultural significance. Either way, there are some goofy moments regardless of where you're from. Like one guy dies from choking on a bone while eating soup, another dies from a possessed newspaper article, but my favorite is this guy and his shirts. Am I a girl? 
and later in the film he wears this. No, I am a man. The Imp is a mixed bag. Normally I watch all these movies in one sitting. The Imp took me three times to try to get through it. It was so slow and it wasn't super compelling for most of the movie. But once I saw the ending, it was worth it. I wasn't a fan of The Imp for most of its runtime, but after watching the ending, I can confidently say that I really enjoyed this movie and I would totally watch it again. And sometimes that's all you need. And that's all I have for tonight. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care everyone.